Welcome to the Exact Contact tutorial series. In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to customize an issue of your monthly e-newsletter. If you have not yet activated your monthly e-newsletter event, we recommend watching the tutorial that covers this first and getting your newsletter set up. Once you have configured and activated the monthly e-newsletter event on the 26th of each month, you will receive an email notifying you that the next month's issue has been published to your account. If you intend to customize a month's issue, be sure to do so no later than the day before your scheduled auto send date. Your e-newsletter is sent to the sending queue shortly after midnight on your auto send day, regardless of the time you have selected for your e-newsletter to be sent. To customize the current issue, start by clicking the mass email option in the main menu, and then click the monthly e-newsletter tab. Your settings for each month's issue will default to the settings you selected when you activated to Global Monthly e Newsletter event, but can be overridden for each issue if you wish. For instance, you might want to set the subject line for each month to include the name of the month. If you want to customize the default personal message that we write for the newsletter each month, click the Customize Personal Message button. The page expands to reveal the content editor containing the personal message for the issue. You can use all of the features of the content editor to make any changes to the default message or delete it entirely and replace it with your own. Note that if you want your e-newsletter to be mobile friendly, meaning it can be easily read on all devices, including smartphones, without zooming or scrolling, you should keep the personal message relatively simple and avoid inserting images wider than 300 pixels. If you make any changes, be sure to click Save when done. If you want to customize the articles that we have written and preloaded for the issue, click the Customize Articles button. A new page opens displaying the three preloaded articles for the month. You can edit the articles we provide, exclude these articles altogether, and add any number of your own articles. To add your own article, Start by clicking the Add Article link at the top of the page. You are taken into Add Article mode. The standard article design consists of four elements. The article title, a single image, the article introduction, which appears to the left of the image, and the balance of the article, which appears below the image. Start by entering the title, replacing the placeholder. For the introduction and balance of articles elements, you can either type your copy in directly or copy and paste it from a document on your computer. I have a Word document ready with my article text. I'm going to copy the first paragraph from my Word document and returning to my CRM, I highlight the article introduction placeholder and paste in my text. Then I highlight the text and from the format menu that appears in the editor toolbar above, select the article introduction format option. The editor also provides the standard buttons for formatting my text, inserting hyperlinks, etc. Now I'm going to return to my Word document, highlight and copy the balance of my article, Once again, return to my CRM, and this time, highlight the balance of article paste placeholder and paste in my text. To ensure that my text uses the standard article formatting for the newsletter, I'm going to highlight it and click the Clean Formatting button in the Editor toolbar. To insert the article image, start by clicking on the placeholder image to highlight. Then click the Insert Image button in the Editor toolbar that appears above. You can either upload a new image or select an image already in your image library. To select an image in your library, click it to highlight it. Before inserting it, you should then enter the width that you would like for the image ensuring that you enter a width of no more than 284 pixels in order 
to ensure that it conforms with the article design, and then click Insert. Next, you can format the text around the image so there is not too much white space uh, in your article. If your article introduction is too short while your article image is tall, there may be too much white space below the introduction. If this is the case, you can move the beginning of the balance of the article text into the introduction. I'm going to highlight the first paragraph of the balance of the article, cut it, and put my cursor in the introduction, hit enter, and paste it into the introduction. And then to ensure that everything has the correct formatting, I'm going to highlight the new paragraph. And from the drop down list in the editor toolbar, select the balance of article format. By using these formatting techniques, you will ensure that all of your articles maintain the standard e newsletter design and formatting. When you're done, click the Save button above the article. And there's my new properly formatted article. You can change the order in which the articles appear in your, news, in your newsletter by using the order drop downs for each article. If I want to move my custom new article to the top of my newsletter, I select one from the order list, the order of the other articles, update accordingly, and I click save in order to reorder my articles. And there's my own article now at the top. To edit an article, click the Edit button to the right of the article header. If you click to edit a preloaded article or a standard article, note that a copy of the article is made for you to edit, and the original article is moved to the excluded article section at the bottom of the page. To bring back an excluded article, click the plus sign next to the section header and click the include button next to the article heading. To simply exclude a preloaded article altogether, simply click the exclude button next to the article heading. And it's moved to the excluded articles button, sorry, the excluded article section at the bottom of the page. Once you finish customizing your articles, click the Back to E-Newsletter Setup link at the very top of the page. Now you can click the Preview link in order to see an on-screen preview of your customized monthly e-newsletter. And you can click the Save and Send Preview button to send yourself a preview to confirm that your e-newsletter looks just right. If you want to send the preview to an email address that is different from your login email address, you can override the email address to the left of the button. If necessary, you can also make changes to the auto send date and auto send time for any specific issue. Or if you don't want to send the current month's issue for some reason, you can select the unscheduled option at the top of the auto send day drop down list. Be sure to click the Save button at the top of the page to save your changes when done. You now know how to customize each issue of your monthly e-newsletter. You can customize each issue as much or as little as you wish based on your personal preference.